house. We're going to do a deeper dive on a video I just did that was only one minute. So let me show you what this is in my hands. This is a two page contract. Now technically it's three pieces of paper, but the third page is mostly signatures. And this was used for a $200,000 investment. And I was not consulted before because if I had been consulted before, and this is the point of my one minute video, I would have said, don't sign it. There is no contract in the universe that is two pages long that is actually gonna protect you and that is actually gonna to put you in the right position if everything goes wrong. And I've said this so many times over the years of making these videos. The point of a contract is not for when everything goes right and everyone's making money and you're high-fiving and you're drinking champagne. The point of a contract is for when you're pissed off, people aren't returning your phone calls, you lost your money, and then you go see a lawyer and the lawyer says, well, did you sign a contract? And they're like, yes. Now, I can't tell you how many times people come to me and they're like, I made the $200,000 investment with no, nothing in writing and I didn't sign any contract. And of course that's worse than the two pager. Now the two pager is not the worst thing in the universe. The worst thing in the universe is the handshake, but it's not much, right? And this basically says it's a joint venture, but it's really not. It looks like a loan and there's no provisions for what if you default on the loan. And think about it from another perspective, the borrower, which is the company asking for the money is the one who drafted this two page nonsense. Think about it. Have you ever gone to a bank and said, hey bank, I'd like to borrow $200,000. Oh, and by the way, here's my contract for you to sign, Mr. Bank, that never happened. Now let me show you what I have in my other hand. This is what real fancy high paid lawyers do. This is a 23 page uh, offering memorandum, which is basically marketing material, but it's really well done. This is a 79 page private placement memorandum, which describes all of the reasons why the, the investment is risky and that you, if you want to give money to the company, you, you need to be aware that you might lose your money. So when you're mad two years from now and you go talk to a lawyer, the lawyer's going to be like, Oh, you signed that. This is to protect the company. And this is a limited, this is an 87 page limited partnership agreement. Now, why do I have this in my hand? A guy, technically the minimum investment in this project was 250,000. The maximum investment was a hundred million. So think about it. It's the same paperwork for 250,000 up to a hundred million dollars. He got the friends and family deal where they were going to let him invest 75,000. So he still had to go through the same amount of paperwork. Look how many pages this is. What did I count that as? There's 190 pages of things to review for his $75,000 project. Now to his credit, he came to me and paid me a couple thousand dollars to review all this with him to make sure that he understood what he was getting himself into. But even then, I mean, come on a fast reader. I think I average single space, 10 pages an hour. If you're actually taking notes and being diligent and making comments. So if it's 190, we're talking 18 hours. Any lawyer worth his salt is at least billing $400 an hour could be much more than that in New York city. So 400 times 18, a fair price is 7,200 bucks to review this. Now, if it's 7,200 bucks to invest a hundred million, you're damn right. That's a good use of your money. If it's 7,200 bucks to invest 250,000, it's probably still a pretty good use of your money here. I'll do the math there for you. Okay. So that's 2.8%. So you're going to spend 2.8% on lawyers before you make your $250,000 investment. Now for the guy that's only investing 75,000, maybe the cost benefits not there to get the lawyers involved, but here it is. And he came to me before he made the investment. Now here we are. Let's compare the $200,000 investment. That's two pages. And I can tell you by looking at this in one second, it wasn't drafted by a lawyer that went to law school, not in this country. Maybe a lawyer who went to law school somewhere else. But this, when you look at this, you're like, wow, this looks lawyerly. And I can tell you the font, the formatting, the, the way it's organized, the, the section numbers are all perfect and accurate and all the cross references are all done correctly. This is done by somebody who's not legally trained. There's run on sentences. There's a couple sentences that don't have a verb. I'm not sure what that's called. Uh, I can't remember from getting yelled at by my ninth grade English teacher, but there are sentences without verbs. There are uh, sentences without punctuation. Um, there's just a lot of red flags here. And unfortunately, I usually see this guy when we've already lost the money instead of this guy where we want to do the right thing and make sure that we get legal advice before we make our investment. So let me summarize. If you have a big thing like this, 
yes, please go see a lawyer and let's review it. Make sure you understand what you're getting yourself into. If you have a thing like this, don't bother signing it. I mean, you can come to me and I can tell you that, but don't bother signing it. And if you do, you lost your money. It was like going to Vegas and just putting it on black. Sometimes it comes out red. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave it below. And uh, I'm happy to talk to any of you. Thanks.